Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing good. In the today session, we are going to discuss about SCOM agent troubleshooting. So whenever there is an issue with the agent of any particular server, you will receive heartbeat failure alert. For example, in my environment, I have received one alert on DC0 to server, such as heartbeat failure. So it means on the agent DC0 to the monitoring is not happening properly. We need to fix that earliest so that the communication will be re-established and the monitoring will start automatically. So whenever you receive a heartbeat alert, the first step we need to follow whether the Microsoft monitoring agent services are running or not. Let me write it down. Microsoft This service should be running all the time. This is the one, the point of contact or the initiation takes place from this particular service only. So this service should be running up and down all the time for the communication. Then second thing is in the control panel, in the control panel, the MMA agent information should be perfect. Sometimes what happens, some people will by mistakenly add the management group name wrongly or uh, wrongly one second wrong or management server name they will add wrong or some port also they might need uh, get added wrongly right in such case the agent is not able to communicate with management server so we need to be very careful to clarify this information and third one is we need to check the port connectivity the default port 5723 is used for communicating between agent and management server so this port should be running and then we need to clear the cache we need to clear the cache so that the agent will get a fresh configuration from management server and initiate the communication and you can see couple of the things in the in, in the microsoft monitoring agent folder to check whether the communication is installed or not we need to verify the xml file is created or not inside a particular path and also some management pack details whether the mps are uh, received uh, from the manage management server or not and you can check the same thing from the event where also for example 1201 event id should be generated on that agent machine that indicates that it has been receiving the management facts so I will demonstrate how to do all these things today. And one more important thing is if for monitoring any uh, Citrix kinds of things, then it will be at the image level. For example, if your uh, server is not monitoring, which is under one of the image, then you need to fix the issue at the image level only. If it is fixed at the image level, then only it will get applied to all the agents. Hope it's clear, right? For example, you have 10 server and all the servers are copied from one particular image so if they see this state on all these 10 server if you fix that all 10 server it will not going to fix it permanently after the server reboot or something like that or the issue will reappear again because that issue is still present at the image level so the issue should be fixed at the image level then only it get effect on the agent also right so this is how we need to fix at the citrix server for heartbeat failures of heartbeat failure alerts now let me start the demonstration okay the dc0 to server we received the heartbeat alert so let me acknowledge it open so it's a set resolution state okay the state is changed so the alert has triggered seven minute backs let me go to my dc0 to server okay this is my dc0 to server as i said first we need to check whether microsoft monitoring service is running or not Click on service, then M, this Microsoft monitoring age and service you get installed as soon as that um, 20 to 30 uh, MB of software when you install no, that time the, the service will add automatically inside services.msc. Okay, so as you can see Microsoft monitoring agent description and then state is nothing so it means the state is stopped we need to start the service microsoft monitoring agent service on the local computer started and then stopped some service stop automatically if they are not in use or by other programs 
okay the service is not starting here why because the component which is looking for the information from the service is not updated or not present properly so what i mean is if you go to control panel this is my second step as i mentioned in the notepad and click on microsoft modern gadget and, and search for the management group details or management server details as you can see it is blank it means what the details is not present so there are two possibilities one the, the details will not present and another one is the details present but it is in a wrong manner like it is with some extra characters or some names okay both should be avoided it should be same as that of the management server name and management group whichever appearing on the console so what i will do i will add the details here so i open the control panel then go to add we need to add the management group name i already taken the information in your notepad file so this is my management group name let me put it here and then management server name ms01 contoso.com okay as i said if i if you add any extra character like one two or any letters like a b c d something okay then it will not initiate the communication so there is no monitoring at all so we have to be very careful entering these details click on okay apply okay okay last time when you try to start the service it was doing some error right but now it will not select the agent click on start refresh you can see that microsoft monitoring agent started running so by this time the agent will come up but as i said we need to check the port also whether the port connectivity is there or not open the powershell as admin you can do telnet from command prompt also but i used to do from the powershell test net test net, test net connection in the particular particular command which you use for checking the availability it is nothing but like a ping test connection computer name we want to check the connection with ms01 okay and as i said the port we are using is 5723 and hit enter okay you can see the result right tcp test succeeded so it is able to connect to the management server if it is not connecting if any firewall is blocked then it should be false so but at this moment we are good so by this time the agent will come up and the alert might be cleared automatically let me go back to my management server yeah you can see right in the active alerts you don't see any alerts uh, like heartbeat alert for tc02 let me go to closed alerts filter for dc02 or heartbeat yeah you can see right dc02 health service heartbeat failure alert is closed let me expand more open health explorer and click on this icon availability local system everything looking good right yeah so as the so this indicate the connection is established automatically and if you close this task you can see uh, how long the alert was active so it was active for 12 minutes or it created at 12 uh, 10 17 pm if you want to see the close date also go to as you then select last state change or last modified then it will show the date or you can see result by time result also now if you expand to the right it was resolved by system because this is a monitor alert we no need to interfere anything it will taken care automatically and at what time it resolved the alert was created at 10 17 pm and it resolved at 10 27 pm so after uh, five or six minutes the alert at 10 27 so it almost took 10 minutes so after 10 minutes the alert is resolved and this is how you need to do the scom agent troubleshooting as i said we need to do the clearing the cache also most of the time that also helps for the heartbeat alert failure alert fixing okay i'll show how to do for that open service.msc stop the service then go to installation path usually it is c 
program files microsoft monitoring now this okay, microsoft monitoring agent this is the one then go inside agent health service state okay this health service state folder we should rename like you can get anything 01 or something like that then click on ok now start the service microsoft monitoring agent start if you go back to that folder again there is a new file get created new folder right health service state folder is created at 10 30 pm so if you expand further there are a lot of other folders where we mainly can need to concentrate on connector configuration cache then this is my management group yeah refresh this file should appear always if this file is existed it indicates there is a connection happening from agent to management server if this is not existed we can say that there are some issue we need to fix that along with that if you want to verify the connection you can go for management pack also this should contain all the management pack informations like these are the management packs were captured from the management server this is all persisted already in management server okay this is how you need to verify the presence of management packs or clearing the cache or starting the or restarting microsoft monitoring agent service hope this much information is useful for spam agent troubleshooting if you have any queries associated with agent troubleshooting let me know in the query section we will discuss it further thank you so much